Happy Tuesday. What a beautiful morning to be alive. It's real early. I've been up since like 1. And uh, I don't know, it's like just going on 3 now. And uh, feeling pretty good. And uh, something I wanted to talk about um, is being an outsider, uh, being an outcast, you know, always being kind of on the, uh, you know, um, outskirts. You know, I was one of those uh, kids that was never invited to sit at the, you know, popular kids' table at lunch. You know, I, I, I spent most of my life like this. I don't know why, um, but it started a real early in my life. I was kind of, you know, um, with one or two friends, you know, always um, kind of being shunned. You know, I got uh, abandoned a lot, you know, by my older brothers. and So, you know, I don't know. It's just weird. Um, but it, it started early and has developed throughout my whole life. Even, even when I had, like, large groups. Like, I had a huge Amway business in the 80s. And so I had um, hundreds and hundreds of people in my group and I was all over the country and in several foreign countries, but you know how I appeared to a lot of my friends <laughs> again, you know, it's just funny how it works, you know, so, um, it's troubling at times, but I've accepted it and I've learned to live with that. And, um, so now here I am, you know, I'm in this, you know, doing urine therapy, which, you know, goes through its own, um, outcasting. It's amazing, um, how much derogatory, uh, gets thrown, uh, because you drink your pee <clears throat> or how much derogatory gets thrown because you, um, believe in flat earth or you're a vegan, um, and I'm all of the above. So it's just weird. You know, I don't know where to fit in. And, um, you know, I'm doing the best I can um, fitting in here. Um, you know, I really do love urine therapy. I think it's amazing. And um, the people I've met here so far, I, I find really awesome. You know, I mean, it's a virtual world, of course, but I really appreciate the people I have encountered so far. Now, there has been some that have been um, throwing a little mud, and um, that's nothing new to me. I'm used to having, um, you know, uh, mud slung at me. And so I just let that uh, roll off uh, the best I know how. And so um, it's something that um, I'm prepared for. Um, it's never fun, you know, I mean, it'd be nice to be accepted, but I don't plan on it. I don't, you know, it's not like, um, I'm going to change who I am to appease anybody. Um, I just don't roll that way. You know, I've always questioned everything, especially authority. I don't really care for people that are, uh, controlling and manipulative and competitive. You know, I don't care whose team wins. You know, I don't wear uh, fashionable clothes. I don't go to the uh, fashionable pl places. I'm not up on contemporary anything. I don't listen to much music. I don't go to the movies. I don't watch TV. And so I am considered to be weird. And so drinking pee, is that weird? Well, maybe to some. <laughs> it's not weird to me. You know, at this point, I find it completely natural and acceptable. And so I continue to do that because of how it improves me. It improves my life every day. And not just on a physiological. Uh, it improves my life every day on a uh, psychological, emotionally, uh, mentally. It, it balances me. It gives me a real sense of um, self-love that um, I think is critical and really important uh, to have a healthy, balanced life no matter what. So, um, yeah, I, I really, um, I appreciate the people that, uh, you know, can show a lot of love 
and uh, appreciation and uh, just be real and genuine, authentic, um, and have some integrity about all that. You know, these are the kind of people I want to uh, attract into my life. Um, and I do everything I know how to maintain those standards, you know, as a human being and uh, show up on the planet and be accountable and responsible for who I am and what I do and what I say. So um, something that was brought to my attention this morning, which I've never even given any thought to, you know, uh, um, somebody said that uh, me writing in caps, uh, people take that as I'm yelling at them. And I never thought about it because everything I, I always write in caps. I mean, this is, you know, here, I, I mean, I'll just show you. This is, you know, that's, that's just how I write. And I don't know why it's been that way. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I always print. I always write in big block letters. Maybe it's my vision. I don't know. Um, but this is the way I've been writing my whole life, so I never really think about it. So um, I'd be curious if anybody has any thoughts or feedback about that. If you think that uh, my writing in caps is like incorrect or that uh, it's being taken the wrong way, I'd sure like some um, feedback on that. I mean, I never think about it. <laughs> I just don't. And God knows I'm not attempting to shout at anybody. That's the farthest thing from my mind. Um, so, um, yeah, if anybody has any thoughts or feedback about that, I, you know, I certainly am welcome to uh, hear what you think. Um, and uh, if I have to uh, make those kind of changes because uh, people are offended, well, I guess I'll make those kind of changes because that's not my intent to offend people. I'm not out to shout out people. So I don't know a whole lot of etiquette um, when it comes to social media. I've only been doing this for like a couple of years. I don't. I still don't even understand all of the um, abbreviated forms. And, and you know, I, I, I'm just kind of not, not hip. <laughs> not hip to all this stuff. And so... You know, running Facebook and, and YouTube is, you know, quite a bit for me. You know, I don't do Instagram or Twitter or, you know, uh, any of these things because it's just all too much for me, quite frankly. Um, just running these um, uh, four pages, five pages, six pages, actually. Um, that that it, it all it's more than enough then uh, that I know what to even do with uh, time management wise um, I have a couple of pages one on my Casey Caban is called Casey's Cabana and um, I have another one on my uh, we do that's uh, the uh, peace global tribes but I just never even bother with them at this point I just don't even give it any time so um, I'm, I'm just more focused right now. The most important thing I'm focused on is urine therapy and spreading this good news. This is what it's all about for me is just to, um, generate a, um, uh, an understanding for people to wrap their head around to, uh, see if they can, uh, heal themselves and improve their lives, uh, simply by drinking their pee. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm in. You know, I think that the pee therapy is the uh, best thing going. I really do. I know there's so many other ways to achieve uh, this, uh, but man, I'm happy with it. I am. I, I, I just find it simple, easy, and free. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, I have a uh, little poem I wrote, and uh, I'm going to share it with you now. And it's called People Point Fingers. Being an outcast is easy to do. I call it life. What about you? People point fingers who don't know a thing about who I am or what I might bring. So I focus on love as hate appears to change the channel and calm the fears. When people attack you, 
for what you believe, uh, that is a cue for someone to leave. Why even go there? Uh, it's pointless at best. A battle of egos just put to the test. I've spent a lifetime going my way, uh, doing my thing every day. So laugh if you want to, or shout if you dare. Because P makes me happy. And I'm uh, much more aware. And um, that's true. I, I feel like my um, awareness about myself uh, and my, uh, my life and everything has improved uh, immensely, remarkably. How much my uh, self-love has increased and uh, how much my self-loathing has decreased. It's just gone away. And I attribute it so much to uh, pee drinking. It's been a very awakening and a very humbling and very healing experience. And I am grateful. So, um, with all that being said, um, I love you all dearly. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. Um, and uh, keep your peace together. And uh, know that... Uh, Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! You've just been loved. Bye.